Riley here from Zero Blue, and uh, I would like to show you um, a way to use FileMaker on an Android tablet. FileMaker Go um, exists for iOS devices only, therefore you can only use it on um, iPad, iPod, and iPhone devices, um, which is great. But there are some people that you know might want to be able to access the databases on an Android platform. So what I'm going to be showing today is a 2x client. So I'm going to launch that quickly. You can actually achieve that with Citrix as well. And uh, with the help of um, Angelo Lucci from Foxtel Technologies, we have a demo set up quickly. So I can launch um, 2x and log into a Windows desktop. So from here, I can go and access my FileMaker. And I have FileMaker Pro and Advanced running. So I'm going to launch uh, FileMaker Pro Advanced. And I'm going to open up my mouse database. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to click open. And I have an error message that I need to get rid of. But that's normal in the database development world. And here it is my, you know, database that is actually um, originally optimized for an iPad. Um, you know, we might have to do a little bit of, you know, screen tweaking so we can actually, um, you know, see things perfectly well on this platform. But here I have a mouse, I can click on that mouse and I will see the information for that particular breeding. Um, I can go over to mice and as you can see, um, it works perfectly well for my fingers. Okay, this is mouse four and, um, you know, we have one breeding for that one. Um, we can see in the mouse, maybe we can see father and mother information. I can't remember where we have some more. But, um, probably not here. Um, but anyway, this just basically shows you that, um, you know, you can have a FileMaker database. This is a hosted database. Um, I really can't complain about the speed. It's responsive. Um, you can also, you know, pop up the keyboard so you can, you know, type here. Um, and again, this may not be as convenient um, as FileMaker Go on the iOS. But on the other hand, you have, um, you know, more options here. So I can get rid of the keyboard. And I can show you that actually you can, you know, even debug a script here if you want to. So, anyway, this is just a quick way to access a FileMaker database on an Android device. And again, it may not be as good as iOS, but I think it is a pretty viable solution. Thank you for watching.